Oh, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. Today I am working on finishing up a little tiny project on the composting toilet. The one thing that was loud and I'm glad my hand was not up there. Just so you know, I do have a gentle closed seat. Well, I do have a gentle closed seat. However, the compartment is what just dropped. Uh, anyway, what I am working on is putting the urine diverter collector in. And if you look here, hopefully I can show this and not get pummeled at the same time. Maybe I can set that right there. Oh, there we go. So what I'm working on is this funnel is going to be mounted down inside the toilet here. So when this goes down, it lands just like this. So um, we can lift this anytime we want. This is like the last finishing touch on the, uh, the toilet I ever showed you guys. So this can be lifted up out of it so we can pull out the, um, you know, the solid waste and all that. And then this will stay behind. And what I'm going to do is put a pigtail in this line like that before it goes down through. And then when we spritz it with the vinegar and water and stuff, that will create that trap so we don't get any smell back from the uh, gray water tank. So that's kind of what I'm uh, working on here. Let me just turn the camera and show you a little bit more. So yes, yeah, so that's what I'm uh, doing right here. I've added this little board on right here. So when I mount this funnel, it'll be out like this. Oh, well, there's the screw right there. So it's out a little bit ways. So basically, when this piece goes down there, it'll land right inside that funnel. And what I just did now is I drilled that hole down through the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and feed this hose, hopefully, down through. And this is just going into the wheel well, wheel well right now. And then we'll, uh, we'll get it from there in a minute. I know it's a little dark, but hopefully kind of see what I'm doing here. Let's get that fed all then. I, I used the longest hose that I had available um, and I think I'll just cut off what I don't need. So for now, let's just get all this down in there. Um, so we can hook it up and show you what I'm talking about here. Right at the moment, I'm just hooking on here temporarily, but I'll have a washer and I'll have this clamped in place as well. What I've done is the funnel is hooked here, and then it goes down, and I'm creating this pigtail. I'll make it a little bit smaller. It'll be pulled tighter back up. So you hope while it's kind of. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Okay, that should be a lot better. So here's the funnel. This, when it goes down, will land and just sit just inside this funnel. And then the urine will go down through here, obviously through this tube. And I'm gonna put this pigtail in it to create like a little trap. And then the, the rest of it will go down through there. And now each time we use this, we're gonna have a little squirt bottle, which I'm sure you've seen with other people with water and vinegar to just rinse it down. And that will put more of that into this little pigtail. So it's not just urine that's trapped in there. And hopefully that'll work. And if we run into any trouble down the road, then we'll make some modifications. But this will be clamped against the front. This will be clamped in place so it doesn't move. And of course this will be, I'm gonna put a washer on that so it holds that in place. And that's pretty much how it'll work. And then it's gonna go down through, and I'll show you in a minute where it's gonna come out and go down through the bus floor to the gray water tank. Uh, but let me just show you, let's get this drill out of the way now. And hopefully I can show you how that's going to land down in there. So, let's see, that's going to land right in that spot. If I open this up here, you can see, maybe see the blue funnel. But that's, it landed right inside the blue funnel perfectly. And that's how it's going to work. So, there you go, solid waste back there, urine up here. And then we can still easily open this up without having to disconnect anything and pull the solid waste out to dump it. And there we go, there's that slow lid so I don't get my fingers pinched. All right, and then that hose that we just shoved down through there, is gonna come out into here. Now 
water closet, which is kind of a mess right now. And here's the hole right here. And you can see where it came through the floor right there. And once I get all this situated, I'm going to um, insulate underneath here as well. Uh, I didn't want to do anything permanent because this is where all of the water is going to come in. Um, it's going to come into the wall here. Pump's going to be here. Tank's right here. There'll be a kitchen faucet, uh, I mean a bathroom faucet here. And then of course the water will go uh, off in this direction to go up for the kitchen sink, which will be right in this bay right there. So, uh, and then the drains will all also return to this uh, location. Drain for the sink will come across the back of the cabinets inside here and then exit into this water closet just above the, the tank and then drop down here and go down through the floor to drain and this um, urine tube will go down through the floor as well. It might actually just hook into the main drain right here and, and go down from there. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking at the moment and we'll keep you up to date how this all works out.